recording? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Liz, and I'm obsessed with Disney. I'm here with... What? Oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> this is Alana. You all know uh, Alana. Um, yeah. I'm going to link to our playlist from when we went to Disney in January for a DCP homecoming. Way to bless. So much fun. And uh, we're here to tell you... We're going to Disney again. Yes, we are. <laughs> Disney bitches. Hi. Uh, we are participating in uh, the Princess Marathon Weekend. Yeah. Um, so we're doing Princess 5K. Yep. Except we're not really running it. <laughs> Low key. <laughs> Low key. Doing all the fun yeah. Marathon Weekend kind of things. But doing the least amount of work yeah. by walking a 5K. <laughs> yeah. It'll be fun. <laughs> So when I was looking into looking for information for the run, the marathon, uh, I could not, for the life of me, find out how to register for the races. So I figure we'll make this video and we'll talk about how we registered. So, um, <laughs> funny story about that. Uh, I was actually on a cruise, so I did not have internet the day that you're supposed to sign up. So on the Run Disney website, they give you days of once registration for the marathons. So I'm like, Alana. Yeah. I you got your back. <laughs> I was like, you're going to have to sign me up, too. <laughs> yeah. So, basically, like, it's pretty it's pretty easy. But when I went on, the 10K was already sold out. So, like, I don't even know when it went up that you could sign up for it, but... I think it was 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock that day? Yeah, the day you signed up was the day it opened. For the 10K. For everything. Okay, so yeah, so the 10K sold out super quick because I went on an hour later. So, just a heads up if anybody's looking for the 10K, it's already done. It's like Hunger Games. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the 5K I was able to do, because I freaked out because it was already an hour later. I was like, oh god, she's going to kill me. I already paid her. I was <laughs> like, she already paid me. Here's my money. Sign me up. I'm going on a cruise. Bye. <laughs> yeah, but it was, like, it was super easy. I don't really remember how I found it. I think I just went right on the website, clicked on the Disney 5K race, because it just, it was available to sign up, like, right then. And... You just, you know, it's way easier if you already have an account. I had to make an account. She already had one, so all I had to do was sign in. It had all her information already. All I had to do was put in my credit card information and pay for it. There was, like, maybe $5 of taxes, not even, so it came out to, like, 80 bucks for the 5K race. So it really wasn't expensive, and, like, it took me five minutes, maybe. It really wasn't hard at all. Yeah, so tips for signing up for any Run Disney event. A, have an active.com account. Yes. Have that all filled out. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll be in panic. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass because I did her first because she gave me her money. She was she told me about it, so I'm like, I'm going to do her first because, like, this was her idea. And then me, I was, like, on my phone in my car trying to do it as fast <laughs> as I can because I was freaking out. But it was fine. I got us both signed up, both paid. If they don't send you a confirmation email, just like they did to me, which I was freaking out. They sent another one a couple weeks ago. Did, did they you get really? it? No. I didn't get shit. I'm did you getting... type in your address in I wrong did. or something? I don't know. But whatever. So I just went on the website, and if you look up, like, whatever races you're already registered for on RunDisney.com, it'll tell you that you're registered for that one. So, so did like... you register for the races through Active.com or yes. the Run Disney website? Through Active.com. Because I don't think you can do it through Run Disney because it all goes through Active.com. That's how I signed it and everything. So there you go. Yeah, there Super you go. easy. Mm -hmm. Also, tips, if you're new to Run Disney events, you should... Um, join the hashtag run team disney facebook group because those are all people who do it all the time they got all these tips they're like the smartest when it comes to this stuff so if you have any kind of questions that is the place to get them answered so you went to on the I run disney to, site yeah i went on rundisney.com and then that's where i found like the list of the races and you just click whichever one you want to Sign up, sign up for, up for and then, and then it brings you to the active.com and it asks you to log in if not make an account boom so simple so, so if you want to do any kind of run disney events you're new to it do not freak out super simple process just make sure you have your active.com account and be ready on the day the races go live so if you yeah yeah <laughs> so like if you okay. actually if you want to do that 10K, I suggest being on there 11.59. Because <laughs> like, that sold out in an hour. I'm not even kidding. I was on 1 o'clock, and it went up at 12. I was like, oh, damn. And they have, like, crazy amounts of spots open. Yeah. So, it's a lot. Yeah. Also, what I highly suggest is once you get 
<laughs> your email <laughs> or yeah, on your now. active.com account Freak once it like says me. that um, you are officially registered uh, I would suggest booking your accommodations ASAP because race weekends are crazy in Disney I remember um, when I was on my college program I was down there for the princess marathon weekend because that's always in February and it was just craziness so normally they pick weeks that are like quieter in the park so they get more people coming in but it doesn't matter if it's off season because it's still gonna be bananas no matter what also some info that so those of you who don't follow run Disney events too closely the 5k's used to be rubber medals but as of now this new race season they're gonna be metal medals so we're getting legit sparkly oh, ass medals <laughs> so something to know if you are just yeah. beginners like we are uh, it's going to be nice because if you're you know signing up for a run Disney event mm -hmm. you want a, yeah. a nice uh, yeah. metal pick nice little metal that you can bite on like they do in yeah. the Olympics right. if you feel accomplished <laughs> but like I was reading it the 5k is good for like beginners and kids and stuff like that so like you go at your own pace you don't have to run if you don't want to, you can walk and everything. And, like, the princesses are on the side yeah. of the road, right? But the if thing you is, the princess run. you got to make sure you're not just, like, yeah. walking really, really slow. Because yeah. Run Disney has 16-minute um, pace times. Mm -hmm. um, so they're going to, like, sweep you if you're not running or walking or whatever you're doing yeah. within 16 minutes. So, have fun. Take pictures with the characters. But um, yeah, just, don't, just like... Make it quick. Yeah. <laughs> make us happy. Yeah. <laughs> But that's something that they'll always, like, keep it on. So, um, if you're interested in uh, seeing how this all pans out with us <laughs> for this 5K, <laughs> click that sub subscribe button and uh, we'll see you in February. <laughs> Be a lot of shaking cameras. Okay, guys. Oh my god, I'm coming! <laughs> Rapunzel, I love you! <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys next Thursday for uh, your regularly scheduled video. <laughs> Have a seamless day. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Literally the perfect park bag. So it's a great size. I, it's small, but you can fit so much in it. It has side pockets to fit water bottles on both sides.